The M1938 leggings are a very important part to any basic infantryman impression for World War II reenacting. If you've never put on a pair of leggings, it can be very tricky trying to figure out how to put them on correctly. So today I'm going to walk you guys through the process on how to put them on. First things first, go ahead and grab your service shoes. There are a couple of different ways to tell which one goes on which leg, but just to keep it simple, I'm going to put it this way. The buttons and the ties go on the outside of your leg, all right? The outside of your leg. This is going to be the heel, and this is uh, the front of your foot, okay? Goes down, and it just has a very slight curve, but this one has more of a dramatic swoop. See what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to tell on camera maybe, but if you hold up your pair, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. All right. So it's going this side is going to go on the front of your shoe just like that. So the more dramatic swoop, that's going to be the front of your shoe and the more gradual slope is going to be the heel. So the back of your shoe. And that's a good way to tell uh, that you're putting it on the right leg. <clears throat> I'm just scooting around all over the place for this. Now then, how to actually put them on. So this strap is going to go underneath your heel. It's going to go right there. Just take it, put your foot through both the tie and the strap. And you're going to move it around. Pull this up and over your heel, just like that. And kind of straighten it up. <clears throat> Maybe pull on this just to sort of get everything in place where it needs to be. Now, once you've got your gator on your leg where you need it to be, go ahead, take your right or left hand and pull up on this loop right here and hold this loop, put it over that first hook and then pull it tight with your other hand. All right, get that nice and tight. And then you're just going to repeat the process. See what I'm doing? Loop it over and pull at the same time. And this way, you can go really, really fast. And just repeat the process all the way up. And when you get to the top, loop that last one right there. And then take what's left of the string and pull it through. Put it through these other eyelets. And it doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much what you do at the top. I like to just kind of tie it just like that, just so that it's not going to get loose and go anywhere. And then tuck what's left of your string back down inside the gator. And now you are good to go. As it's on my foot, you can kind of see um, why it's important to have the more upward slope on the front of your foot, the other slope on the back, because it just kind of forms to your shoe that way and keeps everything nice and snug. And then of course, if you need to adjust your strap down here, you can do that too. You can make it tighter or looser. That's good right where it's at. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and do the other leg just so you can kind of see the process again. So the same thing with this leg. The more dramatic slope is going to be on the front. The more gradual one, that's your heel. Remember to get that string around your ankle, just like that. Pull that good and snug. And then when I'm uh, putting gaiters on, I like to kind of take my trousers like this and pull them down and then just sort of fold them like that just so they're out of the way. 
while I'm putting this on. All right, and here we go again. Get this first loop good and tight down at the bottom. And with one hand, you're applying pressure with this so that as soon as it's hooked, you can just pull it tight. And then repeat the process once again, all the way up. You might have to kind of keep your trouser leg tucked into the gaiters as you're going up, but that's all right. Just try to keep your strings kind of tight as you're going up. Oops. There we go. And again, it doesn't really matter too much. What do you do at the top? But I like to just put it through that hole right there. Come around. Put it through that one. Pull it tight. Take what's left. Bunch it up. And tuck it away just like that. It's really not that tough once you get it down. But like I said before, trying to figure out how to put them on for the first time, it really can be tricky. And the amount of times I've, in the recent months, put them on backwards, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of laughable. It happens, but just make sure that the uh, eyelets and string is on the outside of your leg at all times. It should never be on the inside. If it is, then you're going to be getting, getting them caught together and stuff like that, and that's just no good. And dramatic slope on the front gradual slope on the back and that's really all there is to it all right fellas hopefully i explained that pretty clearly but if you guys still have any questions don't be afraid to ask me down in the comments below and i'll be answering those as quickly as i can but that about wraps this video up and i'll see you guys in the next one